My name is Shelby. I will be representing Millard South. And this is my poem, my poem. <laughs> if I yell these words, or I look you straight in the eye, or I alter my tone, or I grit my teeth and cry just a little, does it mean something to you? Is it the performance or the poetry, the rhyme or the rhythm, the sense or the sensation? What comes first, the words or the reasoning? Are we focus or are we formula? Say this, yell that, cry then. Does it matter what I say as long as I say it like this? If we roll up our sleeves and get our hands dirty, mold our lives into perfect little segmented sections, perfect for performance and perfect for people, perfect for points, does it help? This substandard spacing of sentences as songs slow, spaced, silent. Audience breaths in your ear, heavy, close, loud. My father sang me to the age of seven through short naps and sick days. I don't know if yours did, but I also know that he actually sang me to the age of 11. But that doesn't quite roll off the tongue as well, does it? That doesn't stick in your mind. That doesn't hang around afterwards. Who's in charge here? Who calls the shots? Who runs the show? Who pulls the string? Is it me or is it you? If you're in charge, if I change for this, will you like it? Will it be enough? Does it scratch that dark itch in the corner of your heart for the misery, the madness, the mellow drama of it all? Is it enough if we tear our guts out and string them up into a beautiful, bloody tapestry? Does it scratch that itch, that itch that we have too? That desperate need to stand up on a stage and scream that I am here? Will I feel better if I at least get a good score on myself? If I give you what I have in palatable little pieces and you don't laugh? No, I won't. I won't feel better if I follow that formula, if I make it good and juicy, if I help it go down smoothly. This is my poem. This wiki-how textbook example blueprint type beat, do me a favor. Uphold the sanctity of self-expression don't you dare clap. Audience, your choice.